Greetings of the day. This is Ms. Tabisum. In my previous lecture, I have discussed about nouns and its classification and also explained about common and proper nouns, collective nouns, concrete and abstract nouns and material nouns. In my today's lecture, I am going to talk about countable and uncountable nouns and possessive nouns. So, let's get started. Here it goes, countable and uncountable nouns. Let's see what are countable nouns. Countable nouns are those that can be counted. Let's see an example sentence. There were three chairs, a pair of sofas, two broken tables and five old stools in the drawing room. Chairs, sofas, Tables, stools and room are countable nouns. It means things which can be counted using numbers are countable nouns. Countable nouns can be categorized in two forms, singular form and plural form. If there is one and only one person, place or thing, Involved, then we call them as singular form. A, an and the are used while using them. Let's see some examples. This is an example of a single car. So, we can say a car. An umbrella. The sun. Let's see some example sentences. The bird is singing. Here, the bird means that we are only talking about a single bird. Another sentence. A dog is man's best friend. Here, we are talking about a single dog. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. How many apples are we talking about? Yes, a single apple. Thus, a car, an umbrella, the sun, a dog, an apple. These are singular in number. If there is more than one person, place or thing involved, we call them as plural forms. How many is used to find quantity of plural form? Singular noun is changed to plural by adding S, ES or IES. Let's see some examples. Book is singular. Books are plural. Pencil is changed to plural by writing pencils and adding S. Church into churches. Monastery into monasteries. Cherry into cherries. Uncountable nouns cannot be counted. They do not have Plural forms. Examples. Can you please give me a kilo of sugar, two bags of rice and a 20 litre jerry can of water? Here, sugar, rice and jerry are uncountable nouns. The quantity of uncountable nouns can be indicated by words suggesting amount, size or portion. Like a kilo of sugar, two bags of rice. We cannot say give me a sugar or give me a rice. Uncountable nouns. Here with the green letter I have written names of some things. That is water, coffee, air, salt, sugar, advice and wisdom. And these are all uncountable nouns as these cannot be counted. Water and coffee are liquids. Air is a gas. 
Salt and sugar are so small that even if you try to count the individual particles that would be an extremely difficult task. Whereas advice and wisdom are abstract nouns as they are feelings and ideas. Most abstract nouns are uncountable. No, a or an or plurals. With uncountable nouns, a, an or plural is not used. But we can use units to talk about quantity. Like give me a glass of water, give me two tablespoon of sugar, give me a cup of rice, give me two kilograms of sugar, Give me two liters of mustard oil. How much is used to find the quantity in uncountable nouns? Now we'll study about possessive nouns. Possessive nouns are used to show belonging. We can use apostrophe or apostrophe s with nouns to show Possession or belongingness. Examples. Ram's bike. So, to whom does the bike belong? To Ram. Thus, Ram's bike. John's books. Whose books are those? It belongs to the boy named John. And thus, it is John's books. For plural nouns ending in S. We add only the apostrophe after the noun to show possession. Examples Lion's footprints, wasp's nest. As you can see that lions here is plural noun. And we have not used S after the apostrophe. When a proper noun ends in S, the apostrophe comes after S. Gems guitar, Charles hat. For compound nouns, the apostrophe is added to the last word to show possession. Examples Sister in law's house, Commander in chief's badge. Let's see. The exercise. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of the given verbs. Say whether they are countable or uncountable. In the bracket, some words are given. They are book, advice, difference, journey, wisdom, species, water, are, euro, goa. Let's see sentence number one. Can you spot any difference between the two paintings? Difference is uncountable. My teacher gifted me a book on music for my birthday. Book is countable noun because it can be counted. The doctor's advice to Ritu was to exercise regularly. Advice is an abstract noun, thus it is uncountable. Mira was stuck in Europe without a visa and only a few euros to spare. Euros is a currency and it is countable noun. Number five. We managed to spot a dozen species of animals during our African safari. Species countable noun. Number six. Can you get me a glass of water please? Water uncountable noun. Seventh. We decided to do a journey by car for our holiday. Countable noun. Eighth. I have been to Goa several times in a row now. Uncountable noun. Ninth. I have been waiting for five hours at the station, but the train is yet to arrive. We can count how many hours? Five hours. Thus, countable noun. Her wisdom was far greater than that of people older than her. Wisdom is abstract noun and is uncountable. Rewrite the sentences using apostrophe s. I was touched by the generosity of the stranger. 
I was touched by the stranger's generosity. The apostrophe will come after stranger. Second, the garden of the resort is full of mango trees. The resort's garden is full of mango trees. Third, the porter did not notice the approach of the train. The porter did not notice the train's approach. Fourth, we were awakened by the chirping of the birds. Answer, we were awakened by the birds chirping. Here, the apostrophe will come after birds because the birds here is plural in number. Fifth, the keyboard of the computer is not working. The computer's keyboard is not working. Sixth, the recipe book of my grandmother is missing. My grandmother's recipe book is missing. Seventh, the rays of the sun have immense health benefits. The sun's rays have immense health benefits. Eighth, the skill of the chef came to light at the farewell dinner. The chef's skill came to light at the farewell dinner. Ninth, the grades of the students have improved over the last few months. Here, students are plural in number, so the apostrophe will come after the students. The students' grades have improved over the last few months. Tenth, the popularity of our English teacher grew every year. Our English teacher's popularity grew every year. Eleventh, the melody of the cello is soothing. The cello's melody is soothing. Nouns can be classified into common and proper, countable and uncountable, abstract and collective and material nouns. Common nouns are general names of people, animals, places or things. Proper nouns are specific names of people, places or things. Collective nouns are names for a group or set of animals or things considered as a single unit. Abstract nouns refer to names of feelings, experiences, states, qualities and ideas. Concrete nouns refer to things which you can touch and see. Material nouns are names of substances used to make things. So these are the points to remember. That's all for the day. I hope you well understood the lesson. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.